Welcome back. Now, sunlight could hold the key to electric minibus taxis. Researchers at Stellenbosch University have studied the energy requirements of taxis traveling within and between towns and cities and believe the country will be able to tap into its abundant solar energy to power taxis. Joining me now with more details is Stellenbosch University's Chris Abrahams. Thank you very much, Mr. Abrahams, for your time. First of all, explain to me how this will assist, especially, uh, you know, taxi commuters. You know, these are the people uh, that are very important in that business. Hi, Masejo. Well, we can see that petrol prices are rising quite mm -hmm. rapidly, and we're almost reaching 20 rand per liter. And so we need to look at other, mo other means of uh, powering our taxis to uh, avoid the potential catastrophe of rising transport costs. So we found that electric taxis um, can uh, actually greatly reduce the cost of transport, uh, both for the owners and the commuters. Mm. So how is this going to work? Is it going to use solar energy and the sun? Because we all know in South Africa, you can't talk about electricity and uh, cars that are rechargeable uh, without thinking about load shedding. <laughs> 100%, yes. Um, well, it's not necessarily going to be with the sun. Mm. Um, that is our hypothesis, that that would be a great uh, option. And we've tested that uh, through various simulations. And um, we found that around half a tennis court of solar panels would be sufficient um, to power a taxi on an average day. Uh, that's around 1.5 million rand, say. Uh, and so we could look at other options as hydrogen, um, as uh, or gas as a potential option, but definitely moving to renewable sources would be the key to avoid uh, the problem of load shedding interfering with, uh, with electric vehicles. Mm. So how exactly would this work then? Well, if it was, uh, if it was electric taxis, mm. uh, we found that these taxis typically have a, uh, a, a break in the midday. So they have a high peak of activity in the morning and the evening. And during midday, they are dormant because of uh, it's not financially feasible for them to operate. So uh, that's a great opportunity because the sun is at its peak at that time. Uh, and so that allows the taxis to charge during that time. And the taxis also don't operate in the middle of the night. And that's also when the ESCOM grid is also not uh, as much utilized. So during that time, it has an opportunity to charge from the grid as well mm. without negatively affecting too much the grid. Mm. Well, of course, if, if it's going to save consumers money, it's going to uh, save uh, the taxi driver's money as well as the taxi owner's money. Have you been able to you know, present this idea to anybody in the taxi industry? And if yes, what did they say? Well, I've been in talks uh, <laughs> informally. Uh, other than that, it's been a bit difficult, and I hope that uh, I can definitely progress and be more engaged with the taxi bosses and see how I can meet their needs properly. Mm -hmm. How did you come to this conclusion exactly? Um, you know, I mean, obviously, uh, you looked at the fact that uh, South Africa has a very hot sun and uh, already solar energy is working in households. So how did you come to, uh, you know, looking specifically at the taxi industry? Well, we believe that we can't uh, continue using private vehicles. Uh, that's usually the trend. We need to upgrade public transport mm -hmm. and typically yeah, so taxis are the public transport that we need to upgrade and nourish in this country. Uh, so that's why we focused on them. Uh, we started by tracking these 10 taxis over a period of two years to see how they move, how they stop, etc. And when we analyzed uh, that, um, we saw these patterns which showed that they would be, uh, that solar energy would be a good option. Uh, so that's how we came to the conclusions that we got. Mm.